Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode I'm going to show you how you can build this great Nerf Blaster. You can build one yourself and I include all the files uh, which you have to need to build this. It, it shoots really good, as you can see. So, uh, I'm going to tell you how it works. But first let me unplug the motors so we can talk. This is my Nerf Blaster. I created it for a contest and uh, I won't be attending this contest anymore and I'll tell you later why. But first of all, this is the Blaster. and uh, It consists of a backstock, uh, a trigger mechanism, a holder, some trigger plunger and thing, uh, plunger holder, motor mount, motor shafts and uh, a barrel. So there are a lot of prints you have to make. First of all, uh, those prints will cost you around 150 hours of time to build and uh, I know this is pretty long uh, but it's so much fun to make so please make one. Um, when you build this and everything has to be put together then you can see there are two rods here and also on the front and I removed the GoPro you can see there are two rods there and the rods are completely through this uh, build and they hold all the pieces together except for the motor mount. Uh, all the pieces are held together by these rods, only the motor mount has to be glued and you can do so by using hot glue. Uh, why did I do that? Well, I wanted to make the motor mount something that you can uh, easily handle when building the motors and therefore uh, well you have to glue them in place so uh, this trigger mechanism is a very simple trigger mechanism which uses uh, a rubber band to retract to the back um, this is a print this is a print these are two prints uh, this is a print this is a print this is a print this is a print and also the wheels are prints and then the trigger mechanism they're also printed so almost everything in this gun is printed and you can do so yourself it's very very simple it only takes a lot of time the assembly is very simple it's very straightforward so that'll be it for this part and uh, all the links are downloadable on Thingiverse and the link will be in the description down below then for the second part of this video, I will tell you why uh, I created this and why I'm not attending this contest anymore. I created this in a contest uh, on the Facebook group 3D Printing and uh, they gave you a time window of four weeks to design, print, build, assemble and fire your design. So you had to show it off to the world working uh, and firing. So this is all done in four weeks. Especially this is done in three weeks because I knew that in the last week of this contest I had to go to Germany, I had to work there for a whole week and I wasn't able to do anything on my design uh, before I came back. So then I designed this and a week before uh, this contest ended. I showed my contest to the world, I gave it to everyone uh, and I attended this contest with it. Then when I was in Germany I thought well there is something missing. Uh, it's now a single shooting blaster on which you can place your, your nerves here on top. Uh, but wouldn't it be nice if it was a multi-shooter, a semi-automatic weapon. So. I decided I have to print myself a magazine which can be placed on top and which you can use to load seven more rounds in it so you can shoot your nerves one by one so every time you pull the trigger a nerve will be shot and therefore I created this mount to mount immediately when I came back because then uh, there were some, some, some uh, eight or ten hours left and uh, well, I, when I came home, my wife asked me to come to bed and I said, well, no, I'm going to print this one first. So I created it, printed it, 
uh, assembled it and made a new video uh, so I can show that to the jury on this contest. Then I went to bed. Uh, I had to work the next day so I only had three hours of sleep and uh, when I I showed up at my work and I uh, followed the contest page. I saw they changed the rules. They changed everything. Uh, what they did is they said, well, there are only nine people attending this contest. And therefore, we are going to extend it by another four weeks. And this really upset me. Because I had to do everything to get this done in time. I had three times uh, some problems with my printer. I had to repair my printer three times. And uh, I did it very, very fast because I wanted to enter this contest. I had to, to print 150 or more hours on this. And it wore more hours because I also had some things that went wrong. Uh, because of printer failures, because of misdesigns. In the, in, the, in the beginning. So, well, I have put about 250 of hours uh, of work into this and I was on time, just as a few other people who were also on time. And then they changed the rules because there were not enough people attending this contest. And I, I can immediately understand why this is a problem for them. There are big sponsors like Ultimaker and uh, Filamento and, and well, the, there are a lot of, of great sponsors there uh, which give away prizes and well that can be a problem if you run a contest and there are too little people uh, or, 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 or too less people joining this contest but then again hey we complied our designs in time and now you're opening the contest again for another month and a lot of other people can, can join the contest now as well, but I don't think it's fair. If you have rules, then there are rules. See this as a marathon. If you are attending a marathon, then it's a 42.125 kilometer walk. You have to run 42 kilometers and 125 meters. And if you are running and if you're already seeing the finishing line and someone says, well, there are not enough runners, so let's replace the finishing line another 42 kilometers further on. And let's, let's re-change the time schedule you have to finish. But I was almost at the finish. Do you think this is fair? I don't think so. And this is why I said, well, if, if you're so disrespectful for the people attending in time, then I don't want to have to do anything anymore with this contest and uh, therefore I and, and also uh, a few other people uh, retreated my design, some other people also retreated their designs and uh, we stepped out of the contest. This contest is, is well, it, it's not fair anymore. Uh, this is completely my opinion but I don't think this is fair anymore. If you run a contest, stick to the rules. So, that's it. Um, but now, this boy, it's on Thingiverse, so you can download it, you can print it yourself. Consider, if your print is, uh, which color are you going to use? Because, uh, at first I wanted to make this all black, but it gives you some problems with gun laws in some countries. Therefore, I made this white. And uh, I even heard that even this is no good and I should make it orange. Uh, so I'm going to rechange this and I'm going to make it orange because the gun laws don't allow me to have a, 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 yeah, a realistic looking uh, AR style weapon. Um, so I'm going to change this as well so it will be orange. Uh, I want it to be a kid's toy and I don't want to be uh, original looking gun or whatever, so uh, therefore I'm going to change this. Also, uh, if you go to the Toys R Us or the Intertoys or whatever Play Store you have around in your neighborhood, uh, a thing like this would cost you about 150 to 250 uh, euros or dollars. 
And if you're going to make this, it will cost you about 40 to 50 dollars. So if you buy this, please consider buying me a cold drink. You can do so in the link you can find in the description down below. Uh, please buy me a cold drink because I had a lot of time and effort uh, in this weapon and I think it's great fun if you build this with your kit and uh, well <laughs> it's great fun to build. So that's it. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. If you for whatever reason dislike this video and well maybe uh, you're one of the people who changed the rules then dislike this video. Um, also if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and I will see you in another video because every week I make a new video about 3D printing nice things. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye!